In a recent video, How to Make a Martin Style Truss Rod from Scratch, I showed how I made the truss rod nut from a barrel joiner nut and a hex cap head bolt. I screw the bolt into the nut, cut a notch at the join and put a bead of weld to hold them together. When tensioning the truss rod, there's no problem. You are screwing the bolt into the nut. But when releasing the tension, particularly if it's a little bit tight, there is a risk that that bead of weld will let go and the nut will decouple from the bolt. Unfortunately, this has recently happened to one of my guitars. Now luckily, it was in my workshop at the time and I was able to drill some holes in the connector nut and lever it off the threaded rod. What it means is I'm going to have to review my design and come up with a different way of making truss rod nuts. And I've decided to have a go using these hex cap nuts. Well, I've just made five more, and the final three are looking fairly nice and cylindrical, although they're not perfectly symmetrical around the hex socket. The method I seem to be zeroing in on is to cut off a series of segments of the flange using a disc cutter, and then grind down the corners on the bench grinder, and then finesse those curves as close as possible to the barrel on the band sander. Then and only then do I put it in the drill press and use a file to kind of get the remaining flange flush with the barrel and then of course polish it with sandpaper. Uh, 180, 400, 1200. I kind of like the previous bullet shape 
But this sleeker cylinder design fits very nicely under the truss rod covers and it is way more secure. I guess the only downside is that there is very little area at the end to push up against the washer to tighten the truss rod. So I'm going to have to be careful that those washers are up to the job. 